Hello everyone, welcome back to Canimando. Today I'm analyzing another trailer. This time it's gonna be Soul, so I hope you like it. I hope you learn a lot from it, and let's go into it. What the? <laughs> what the? Okay, here timing wise is great. So you can see there is one pose, two poses, three poses. And then, so is tan, tan, tan. So there's three small, three changes. Tan, tan, tan. A small one, a medium one, and a big one. Uh, yeah, medium, big one. So, but the timing is tan, tan, tan. So it's not like same timing, same even timing. It has contrast, right? So first we have the, this is the first pose. So like what? He go, he uh, moves back. He moves the the hand forward. So like what? What am I seeing? Then tries to figure out what am I seeing. Then he closes his ha his eyes. He starts to look to the next to the other hand, even though he hasn't even raised it yet. But he starts. He knows he's gonna look at the hand, so he prepares the the head goes first. So he starts to look at the hand, and then the hand comes up. What the hell? And then two small darts, like trying to figure out what's going on. One and two. Like what? What? And then the final pose is like, look, uh, lost sight, like, what, what? I don't understand anything. And then looks at the other hand. Great. What is this place? What's your name, honey? Uh, I'm Joe. I teach. Oh, I'm Joe. Look at the side. Uh, I'm Joe. <laughs> oh, I'm Joe. Gotta go for it. <laughs> Great here. Great, just want to point out the overshoot here, it's great, because look at, they wanted to animate a very intense, cut, cut, but they don't want to, you don't want to just hit the pose and that's it. So first, let's analyze the beginning, so you can see how the hand drags back just a little bit, the breaking of the joints on the wrist, great, so it's not like rigid when moving, the lower arm leads the action and then here you have it this is the overshoot and then the final pose so instead of just hitting this pose from here just hitting this pose and imagine this is the final pose they animated one two three so they animated a small overshoot so that and then you can see the recoil on the fingers the settle on the fingers but they animated a small overshoot so that the movement feels intense, but it doesn't feel like uh, the hand just hit a wall. Because if you don't animate the overshoot, it's gonna uh, feel like it hit a wall. So just a small overshoot adds a lot. Cut it go. See? Cut it go. Cut it go. Cut it go for it. Right. Today started out as the best day of my life. Back here tonight, first shows at seven. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> yes! First, just notice how he jumps, and just two frames after the high, extreme high point on the jump, the hand reaches the extreme, the extreme high point on the anticipation, so it's overlapped. It's jump, anticipation, and ooh, beautiful arc, and then Boom! Flips the hand and yeah, easy into the pose. Small and then just uh, notice how as soon as he finishes to ease into the pose, he starts to um, make a fist again and go to the next pose. So we have a very small hold in the poses, but enough so it doesn't feel rushed. So, yes. see, yes, and because we start to move into the next pose 
recoiling the fingers, uh, making a fist instead of moving the hand. We can, that's, those are like one, two, three, four, like three extra frames where we can see the, this pose. Even though the fingers are not straightened, but we can see the pose and then look at this arc. The hand moves an arc and boom, beautiful arc. Boom, boom. And see how he leads with the face. So, got the job. So he leads with the face. The hand is still moving to the right here, and then woo, the hand is thrown. Okay, boom, great. And then the settle, right? So, woohoo, see how he moves back. So it's like woohoo. So it's like moves up, forward, and then forward and down a little bit. And then maybe a bit backwards and uh, down as a settle and a bit back. So if you want to make an, a, like an arc, as, lo as long as it moves in an arc, that's great. You know what gonna say? Joe Gardner. <laughs> You're just gonna say? I'm gonna say Joe. Joe. Great. Joe. So the acting on Joe. Joe. See how the arms are the last one to get to the pose. Great straight leg they changed the they created contrast in the pose just by shifting the weight great i love it notice how he's still here so he wants to step back so to step back he's gonna have to anticipate forward so he's gonna anticipate look at the hips if you uh, check the hips look how the hips are moving forward and then he steps back so he's here he wants to step back, he moves forward and then has the room to take the step and then as soon as he's taking the step, he starts to move back and next pose and then as he eases into the pose, he looks at him again and to the next pose, so anticipation, yeah, and going for a walk again. I did it! I got the gig! I did it! I got the gig! Double double action! I got the gig! I got the gig! See how the I got the gig in the I got there's a small vibration on his head and I got the gig! I got the gig! I got the gig! I got the gig! <laughs> Great! I just noticed how he's talking, he falls down and the phone <laughs> stays there. Oh just a bit more. Must have been sudden for you. Well, oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Help! I'm not done! Oh my, oh my goodness! This is a great example how, even though we're animating a very intense shot, the character is historical. So, it would make sense to keep moving him all the time like crazy. But we want to have contrast also. So, what do we do? First, look at it. Oh, boom, squash. So, boom, he wants to prepare to jump. So, squash here. It's a, there is a cut, but here you see the squash, the anticipation to move up again. But what I wanted to point out the most are the. Uh, is the timing. So, let's. So, there is two pauses and uh, changing the timing, right? So, in help, help here, so you have a very intense movement, and then help, a jump, then a small pause, so you have the contrast here, even though it lasts not for long, but help, I'm not done, I'm not done. So you can see also the accents, every movement is accentuating one word, because he's hysterical, so he's accentuating every single thing. <laughs> and you see the contrast. I'm not dying. Huh, huh. I'm not dying. Huh, huh. If you 
change the words for a, a musical rhythm, you see how the, the fluidity. Na 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 na. And also the pose, I love it. Ching. Ching. Ah. And then you, how he fall through the hole. Huh? Is this heaven? No, it's the great before. This is where new souls get their personalities, quirks, and interest before they go to Earth. Meet 22. I don't want to go to Earth. Stop fighting this. Uh, mm -hmm. I love this timing as well. Love, look at the timing. 22. 22. Tan, tan, tar, ra, 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 tan. Love the timing, look at that, it's so much contrast. So, before I start animating, plan your scene and make sure that there is contrast in the timing. 22. I don't wanna go to Earth! Stop fighting this! I don't wanna! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I already know everything about Earth. Love this shot as well. It's really simple, but I love it. So, look, this is the first pose. You, we can see the feeling uh, on him, and here, this is the next pose. But what I love the most is the breakdown. Because you could have this pose here, then, well, people could do it, like, and then you have this pose here, and have maybe a simple transition, not too much going on, but instead what they did was creating this breakdown. And this breakdown for me, transmit much more the emotions than the other two poses. So you can see how creating a good breakdown, an intense breakdown, paying attention, spending time to make the breakdown even more powerful than the poses, if you can, is something that you have to strive for, because look at that, it makes the animation much better. Look, uh, the the beauty of this animation is this uh, pose. Uh, the drag, how the face drags up, uh, the, uh, the lids start to come down, uh, we can see he's feeling, oh my god, and then I don't, because here we can feel like he doesn't care, but here we can get the exact feeling that he's going through his mind. And body. I already know everything. Uh, hey, look, I already know everything about Earth. Everything about Earth. I know everything about Earth. Everything. Accent on everything about Earth. I already know everything about. I already know everything about. I already know everything about. Ah, well, the accent. I already know. No. Uh, hey, look, I already know everything about Earth, and I don't want anything to do with it. You're missing out on the joys of life, like... Oh, look, look at this. It's a small shot, but look how the... the making, anim animating him just taking a small breath adds a lot to the scene, because it feels alive now. Like, oh my god, the character is breathing. I can't smell. We can't, we can't taste either? All that stuff is in your body. No smell, no taste. Or touch. See? Okay, I get it. Probably this is my favorite animation of the trailer. Okay. So first of all, you can see, like, uh, it's not in the final pose yet. He's, he's easing into the pose. Like, uh, so th we see movement right from the beginning. Like, uh, so he glances to the pizza. Pizza! Change pose. So it's brilliant. Like, uh, pizza. Beautiful change of pose, beautiful pose. Pizza. Look at the silhouette. It's not, the pizza is not, it's not in front of his face. It's not touching his face. It do, it's not here. It's away from his face. So the silhouette is great. Pizza. Then pizza. 
and you can see in pizza, pizza, there is a small overshoot on his head. So if you drag the top of the hat, pizza, pizza, so pizza, 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 and come down again, pizza, and then smells it, the body moves, so the, as the head has to move forward, the hips have, has to move back to compensate the balance, to compensate the weight and keep uh, the character in balance. Ever so slightly. Oh, and as the... Even if not, it's not very noticeable, but then as the character rotates back again, the hips move slightly forward again. So it's just, it's just really tiny details, but it's just to maintain the credibility on the shot. I can't smell. I can't, I can't sm smell. Look at the reaction. What? Anticipation for the reaction. Squash on the face. I can't smell. So you have the contrast. Raises the eyebrow. So here is, is breathing, smelling. Raising the eyebrows. What? I can smell. Then goes to eat the pizza. Then again, here is when he realizes, what? And then an anticipation for the... So here is when he realizes. And then you have see there is a small pause. We can't. There is a boom. boom. It's really tiny. We can't. See? We can't. In this one. In this one. In this one, there is a very tiny pause. We See? So, boom. Just a bit longer than the other two <coughs> chewings. We can. And then you have the anticipation. Look, as he's chewing, the anticipation also reflects his mouth full. So, squashing the pose. And what? You can't taste either. Also, this, this mouth shape feels like he, he's eating something. It's not like we forget that he, ha he has something on the mouth, in the mouth, but we can see that he's full, like the, the, his mouth is full of uh, food. We can see on the shape. <laughs> we can taste it. There's a small pause when he pops the... We can't! We can't! <laughs> Pop! We can't! We can't perp! Taste it? Smell! We can't! Hmm? We can't taste either? We can't taste either? We can't taste, taste either? either? We can... Taste... Taste either? <laughs> Great, look at the drag, the arc, taking the pizza, it's not linear, it's not straight line, dips down and up again, <laughs> anticipation, moving the pizza down and boom, in your body. <laughs> Great, in see your anticipation, body. Boom, boom. and then get ready, Straighten the arms and vroom, vroom, like he's like ching, like he's trying to push the pizza. Well, he's trying to push the, the pizza out of his body, and then shoom, shoot, vroom. I mean, you if you see the body, the body is uh, the extreme down. You see how he it moves in arcs. It not it's not just moving up and up, down and up. It moves on arcs. Vroom. The hand as well, so straightens. Boom. See how the arms come back, but making an arc. Boom. And the head, as the as the body stretches down, the head moves up. So it's the contrast, opposite directions. Boom. 
No smell, no taste. Or touch. <laughs> See? <laughs> okay, I get it. Wow. Wow, it's my life. Is all this living really worth dying for? You're still alive? Can you help me get back? No! Just, I wanted to point out this shot. How it's practically, it's not moving practically, but you want to have the character completely frozen in this, in this pose. So look how also he's trying to wake up. He's uh, also, also he's almost waking up. So he opens a bit the mouth, he raises a bit the eyebrows, he rotates a tiny bit the head. So it's a really small amount of movement, but there is movement. You're still alive? See? Can you help me get back? No way! No way! Accent on no way! No way! No way! No way. Also, I love how a no on the way as the, the lip sync goes into a squash pose, they also make the eyes and the eyebrows go into a squash pose. So no, you see how the eyes squint a little bit so that when she says no way squash and way so when he says the way the head stretches so no way so there is contrast on the face uh, facial expressions way no way it's really really subtle but you can feel it no way no way no way, no way. What are we waiting for? Wait, not me! Hmm, that's weird. What is it? 151,000 souls go into the great beyond every day, and I count every single one of them. The count's off. <laughs> huh. I don't know why, but this animation, I love it. It's just a head turn, it's a body turn. But... The count's off. I love it. I don't know why, but it's great. This character, this, um, see how he moves. Uh, it's just brilliant. Look, the the movement starts with the hands, so the body is on the same pose, and then dips down an arc, and then is into the pose. This is actually a really good exercise for you. If you want to practice creating is-ins, is-outs, arcs and everything in a complex character, just uh, take your character and make him just turn around. Just turn just the head or the whole body. Because um, even though it seems really simple and easy, you can create it, you can make it really, really beautiful if you um, take your time and put some effort. So, really recommend it. Huh. Huh. <laughs> and then the huh. 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 great finished so I hope you liked it I hope you learned a lot from it and if you want any other animation to be analyzed leave it on the comments and as I always say I'm teaching animation so if you want to buy my course if you want private tutoring if you want feedback on your work here I am also, I have a Discord channel, so if you want to learn animation for free, go there, because there is a lot of things, and even more every day, because the community is growing. So, check it out, and until the next animation analysis.